The Five Nights at Freddy's movie is going to be PG-13 and it kind of concerns me. The Five Nights at Freddy's movie is going to be PG-13 and it kind of concerns me. Now that doesn't mean the movie is completely doomed, but we'll go over the good things about it being PG-13 and then we'll go over the bad things about it being PG-13. So first things first, a lot of people say this, they say the movie is for kids. Good enough. Back with another mil- <laughs> This movie is not for kids. This movie is about a murderer going on a spree stuffing bodies into animatronics. Now kids may be interested in it, but that does not make it about kids. There's a lot of scenes and a lot of things that happen in this series that is not kid friendly whatsoever. I mean, even in the games, this guy kind of goes into detail on how he murders these kids and how he puts them in each body. Their souls are literally haunting this pizzeria. And you can even smell the odor, the stench coming from the animatronics. There's no way in hell that this is a kid's movie. So I'm just debunking all that this is for kids shit because it's not. Now talking about those graphic scenes, I want them to be detailed in each scene. I think it's important to see the details of each scene so you know how intense this movie is, how scary it is, and how graphic it can really be. Now with the PG-13 movie, you're limited on that. I know it doesn't necessarily mean that you can't do everything, but you're very limited. What about the bite of 87? How are they gonna show that PG-13 wise? I don't know if that's gonna be easy to show on screen. The kid's getting his frontal lobe bitten off. <laughs> Or William Afton getting springlocked. <laughs> yeah, it's, that's a pretty gruesome scene. I mean, I guess you can say that you could just switch away from the camera and then have the sounds of the crunching bones and the suit locking in on him, but I don't feel like that would make as much of an impact as, you know, actually seeing it happen. Now, you don't have to see every little excruciating detail, but I don't know if people are gonna know exactly what's happening when all you hear is screaming and then mechanical bolts locking and stuff like that away from the screen. Uh, the animatronic character- Especially people who don't know the lore about FNAF or even know anything about FNAF. I also don't want the movie to be too watered down. I don't want it to feel like a little Disney Plus show or anything like that. I doubt that it'll be like that, but I don't want it being too friendly. I've also noticed on one of the covers that the kid is standing with Freddy, and it kind of seems like they have a little buddy-buddy relationship, which, you know, I'm kind of worried about. I know in the lore, the kids aren't ever really trying to hurt you. They're trying to save you from William and Afton. They're trying to scare you out of the pizzeria. But in this case, they should keep it how they had it for the first game where you didn't know that they weren't trying to hurt you and they shouldn't be your friend. It's kind of like having Blue the Velociraptor as your companion, which I never liked. I always liked it so there's a clear, you know, threat. And in this case, it should be the animatronics at first. Maybe near the end, you know, Freddy could be all nice to the girl and be like, hey, I was just trying to save you from William's crazy ass, but you know. But here's also the reasons why I think it's not that bad that it's gonna be PG-13. Blumhouse. Blumhouse is a reason why this movie's happening. And they do pretty good with their PG-13 movies. Like, I enjoyed The Black Phone. I haven't seen Megan, but I heard good reviews. So I trust them with this project. It makes more moolah for the sequels. I know this is the reason why they're doing this. They're making more money for the sequels and I'm down for it 100%. I would like to see some more sequels of Five Nights at Freddy's. Especially the little creepy uh, ballerina. I would love to see that. And Scott, Scott knows what he's doing. Scott's been watching all the scripts. He actually denied a lot of the scripts because he didn't like them and I really dig that. It means he's serious about his craft and I love passion, dude. I love people that have passion for things. So overall, I think that this is just like a 50-50 for me. I would love this movie to be rated R because it doesn't limit everything. But honestly, PG-13 is gonna make it more money anyway. I think this movie is gonna make a bunch of money regardless if it's PG-13 or if it's rated R. But my personal take is I would love to see it rated R. What do you guys think? Do you guys think it should be rated R? Comment down below. So like and subscribe if you're new. Love you guys.